How's it going, traders? It's the Football Wall Street back with another weekend review. Today, we're going to look at my top sectors going into a holiday shortened week next week. If you like my content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel down below. These two actions will help more people see my work. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can know when my videos come out. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. And lastly, keep in mind, this is not financial advice. I'm only doing this for educational purposes only. So let's dig into these sector charts. So the first one we're going to look at is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You can see this orange line. That's going to be our 30-week moving average. And you can see a series of lower highs and lower lows um, falling in a broadening formation here. And you can see... Uh, three weeks ago, we tested the top of that channel. It looked like intra week we were breaking out, and then we just put in an inverted hammer uh, right at our 618 Fibonacci retracement at 341.57. And then you could see the subsequent two weeks, right down and down. And right here, what I'm going to put on real quick. Uh, you can see this is going to be our golden pocket, right? So your golden pocket is basically your 618 to your 0.65. And you can see we stopped right at the golden pocket. So um, we're going to take a look at the SPY and Qs and IWM. They're, they're pretty similar in, in the respect of where they are relative to the Fibonacci retracement. And basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at the retracement from that swing low to that swing high and uh, that's where we are today so would like to see 312 to 314 hold next week maybe we get a, a little bit of a, a reversal off of that right back up to the top of our channel i think for me that would be ideal right it would be a nice one two setup but we have to deal with reality here and uh this the broader macro situation has not really improved, right? There's no big changes. And so I think the reality is we possibly can continue to chop lower and uh, very distinct possibility we could revisit the lows. And uh, so we have to, we have to, you know, look at all the possibilities, right? We could bounce off of here and head higher. We could fail at here and head lower, or we could just chop around a little bit, right? And just consolidate. So uh, that's where we are. And keep in mind, we are on the weekly time frame. So each bar does represent one week's price action. All right, let's take a look at SPY. Kind of similar of a chart, right? Let's just grab this tool here. So inverted hammer here, very close to that 618 retrace at 435.40. Two week sell off. We lost the 30 week moving average. That's our orange line as mentioned. That was last week. Uh, or two weeks ago, and then last week we came into the uh, swing low anchored view app here, and we lost that. And uh, we're close to the golden pocket here. The golden pocket for us on the SPY is going to be 386 to 388. We came into 390. We closed at 392. Uh, you could see this was this area was acting as prior resistance, then turned into support. So the question remains, does this hold as support? And do we bounce back up maybe to 400, maybe possibly to 407? Or do we continue to fail here and come down to 386, 388 right in our golden pocket? So that's basically what I'm watching for here. Uh, and you could see, you know, falling wedge breakout, nice push higher, and now we've pulled back. So uh, we've had a nice run. Right. And anytime you have a, a nice run, you're going to have a bit of a pullback and consolidation. So, again, very similar to the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Do we bounce higher off the golden pocket? Do we fail at the golden pocket or do we consolidate maybe for a couple of weeks? So that's what we're going to be watching for. Similar with the Q's, a little bit weaker um, overall. And uh, let me just uh, put this label here. So that's going to be our 30 week moving average. And uh, you could see we failed at the 302 to 300 range. That's going to be a 236 retracement and uh, potential psychological support slash resistance at 300. Right now, potential resistance. You could see we're coming into an area where that acted as resistance turned support, very similar to what we saw on SPY. And uh, for this, what I'm watching for is uh, the back test of 287. Uh, you could see that acted as support back here support right here 
So do we get a bounce off of 287 and maybe a move back up to test the down channel or down trend line there? That's what I'd be watching for this week coming on the queues. And uh, here's IWM. I didn't put any fibs here. So let's just do a quick uh, fib retracement. Let's extend that line out. And you could see we haven't come down to that 618 just yet. Let's put the golden pocket in there. And that did not show up because I didn't select it. There we go. And so this is what we would be watching here. Do we come down into this golden pocket and reverse back up? I, for me, 187 is the key to IWM. You can see here, support, support, resistance, resistance. And we broke above it, right? But we never back tested it. In fact, Looks like we had a gap down below it. We came back up. We tested that 30 simple moving average. We tested the COVID low anchored VWAP, and we got rejected off of it right here this week. So looking pretty weak. 176 to 177 is what I'd be watching for this week. Does it hold and we bounce? Does it fail and we come down? Or do we consolidate maybe on top of it for a week or two before seeing our true move? And uh, I'd like to welcome my, my guest host, uh, the crow that is squawking over here so apologies for that i'm in the suburbs uh for a couple of days and uh yeah just would like to welcome my my guest hosts here today all right so those are the major indices now let's take a look at some sectors um not a lot of relative strength uh here so um, what i'm really focused on is sectors that are either showing a little bit of relative strength or just not breaking down like the rest of the market so First and uh, first one up is KWeb. We talked about this last week. Possible bull flag setting up. Here are some of the names that you could check out. Uh, we've been, you know, testing this thirty simple moving average for a number of weeks now, and uh, we did try. We did have a breakout last week or two weeks ago, I should say, and then we had uh, an inside week this week. So uh, nice consolidation here on KWeb. I would watch for either further. Uh, consolidation, you know, maybe like a weekly pennant setting up, or uh, we could break out, right? And I think 3438 would be the key level. You could see resistance here, resistance here, support back here. So that would be the area I would watch for uh, Chinese tech stocks to make a bigger breakout. All right, here's XLU. This is utilities. You could see some of your utility names right here that you can look up. But we came into prior resistance. At, oh, it was about three weeks ago and then two weeks ago again tested it and failed and now last week continuing down so here what i would expect maybe a, a back test of the 30 simple moving average here the 30 weekly you know our size still holding over 50 no squeezes but squeeze momentum has been rising so i would maybe see in the next week or two maybe we back test that 30 simple moving average and we just bounce off of it and make a bigger move higher. So keep a closer eye on utilities for the next couple of weeks. Here's a XLV. We saw some strength uh, in healthcare, um, but you know, again, selling off the last three weeks. But look at the area of potential support that we're looking at here. And so that's where we bounced uh, this past week. So Johnson & Johnson, I know, is one that a lot of people were talking about. Here's some other names that you could look at as well. Um, if we get a bounce off of this level, could be a good area to take, you know, maybe XLV long, you know, maybe up to 133. Uh, these were the prior resistance highs here. Uh, you could see a lot of resistance into that level. Um, but yeah, I think for me, this is more looking like a bounce play, uh, you know, off of a potential prior support level. All right. And you also see we did have a weekly squeeze that is setting up here. And uh, last but not least is biotech. Uh, so similar to healthcare, seeing some individual relative strength names, uh, but we are selling off. But what struck my eye on this is, you know, resistance on that 30 simple moving average. We had the nice breakout about five weeks ago. And now we're back testing that breakout here on that 30 simple moving average. So uh, we're hovering right around 50 on RSI. No squeezes to note, but we are getting positive momentum on the squeeze momentum indicator. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really what I'm going to be watching. Um, there's certainly individual names within some of these sectors, as well as other sectors that have been showing relative strength. 
And that's really where I think my focus is going to be uh, in the coming you know, week or two, is really just focusing on those individual names and uh, hi- trying to highlight some sectors that might be showing some strength relative to the market. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. You know, like I said, if you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you like it, just uh, give a like on this video too. All right, take care, everyone. And I will catch you in the markets tomorrow.